good. <laughs> hey guys, so, um, like I said, I don't know what this video is going to be called, but I need to upload a video tomorrow, and I'm not gonna go plan shopping until Friday, because my boo is gonna have his day off on Friday, and he made me a promise, and he also wants to go to, like, a, a, a nursery that we went to last time, called Rainbow Gardens, and he really liked it because they had so many carnivorous plants. Well, the picture that they had it, but they ran out of stock, and we want to go again to see if they have any more carnivorous plants because he ha he's having a moment with carnivorous plants and begonias which is kind of cute now today is just going to be a cleaning day um or a house plant day i did tell you guys on yesterday's video that i was going to film a living room slash kitchen house plant tour but i've been a little bit busy that's a lie I, I i woke up really late and the lighting in the kitchen right now is so so bad so whenever i do like house plant tour videos showing the kitchen i always try to film in the mornings because the lighting is super bright in there and it's, you know, it's great for content, quality content. But I woke up late, so I can't film. And I need to wait until tomorrow morning to film. Because <laughs> I set up really, really late last night to get the, to get yesterday's video as well. This is so confusing, you guys. But it leaf shining some plants, removing some dead foliage, and maybe some propagation. I don't know yet. So let's go look at my plants. Alrighty, so this is exactly what we're going to be doing. Well, the way I'm going to set it up, so I got my handy dandy scissors. I already know the name of this plant. It's called the Maria Syngonium, aka Arrowhead, so we don't need the tag anymore. And as you guys can see, there is a little bit of damage on this plant. Because she was one of the plants that I had at the greenhouse, and it was my fault, not like thinking or knowing. Well, I mean, I did know it was really, really hot outside, but I didn't know it was going to be that hot because like it was in the shade. Anyways, she ended up getting like a little bit scorched, not really scorched, but like burnt from all the heat. So I bought her back inside and since then she's been doing really good as you guys can see. There is a new leaf popping up. So that's a really, really good sign. But yeah, I'm just going to remove a little bit of the foliage. When I used to live in the apartments, I used to notice that when I was like doing this type of videos, I used to see like fungus gnats all over the soil. And it freaked me out at first because I was like, oh my god, there's like disgusting insects in the soil. But no, it was just fungus nuts doing their thing. So, yeah. Ugh. So much. Ew. That, oh my god, that was slimy. Ew, that's so gross. Okay, and then this is a watermelon seed that popped up. No. Alrighty, we're gonna get a bag and put all the messy stuff inside of the bag. Now, this is the dining table. So I'll be making sure to disinfect it, you know, because we don't want no some nasty stuff in there. Okay, she's better than ever. And she doesn't look that dry, so she's good. I just want to give you guys an update on my spider plant, the green version. And as you guys can see, propagations, as you guys can see, she is doing so, so, so good. And I'm just so ready for her to put out babies because I want more green spider plants. Because in my area, we always see like the, the green one with the white variegation. Rarely see the green kind, which honestly looks like grass. <laughs> but it's the spider plant, which is super, super cute. She has like a damaged leaf, so let's cut that part off. And yeah, super cute. The next victim is my medium monstera. As you guys can see, we're going to zoom out. There we go. <sighs> she also was in the greenhouse and she ended up getting a little bit burned. Which is kind of sad. But she is growing like crazy right now. I just cut off a leaf, a good one. No! I bought this one at Lowe's for $35, I believe. Which, honestly, as you guys can see, she is so huge. And she was in a really beautiful pot. The pot didn't have any drainage holes, which was kind of like, you know, what? But I ended up repotting her in a new pot. And she's doing so, so good. She started to like trail. So I might need to, I kind of want to give her a, I kind of want to give her a moss pole, but, but I'm trying to save money right now. So hopefully down the line, I'll be able to like buy the materials to make a moss pole. I kind of want to propagate this plant because like, do y'all see those nodes? Look at this one. That's crazy. Beautiful. I heard she's pretty good. 
Now what other plants need a little bit of maintenance? As you guys can see, she is loving the window. She looks good. My string of bananas also looks really, really good. And I think, yeah, she needs water. String of dolphins. My dumb cane is doing A-OK. -okay. That one's good. Another dumb cane is good. This one as well. My umbrella tree is doing A-OK. -okay. Look at this new leaf. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. Oh, look at this manjulu photos. My money tree. Variegated umbrella. Plants. Orange up this is her new leaf. It's so, so good. And look at this one, like what? It has a new leaf popping up and then it has another one as well. Exciting. A lot of these plants look really, really good. So I don't think I, don't think I need to do much maintenance on them. Sansevieria, a Trancina cutting. Milky Way cast iron plant also is looking good. Variegated on a piece of leaf. Has a bad leaf, but I can just pinch it off. White butterfly syngonium doing good. That one's doing good. Good. Alrighty, honestly, I'm probably gonna shine this one. Cause she does have a little bit of, you know. You can see all the top water. Stains. So let's get the leaf shiner and start cleaning this girl. Towels and the leaf shiner. First, let's cut off the bad leaves. This was one of my huge peace lilies, but I left her outside in the winter and yeah, she got really, really, really damaged. Now there are some people saying that the leaf shiner damages or like kills your plants, but personally, I haven't experienced anything bad with the with the leaf shiners, like at all. So I don't know. No, I never put in the bottom because supposedly from what I read, the top doesn't really. It does like pull in air from the top, but not as much as the bottom. So the bottom part is like the most important part. So that's the spot that I don't really put any leaf shiner products in there or any other product that I need to put unless I'm trying to treat some pests. She's not that shiny, but she looks a lot better than before. Down the line, I would really like to buy better pots for my plants. Because the nursery pots, they're okay, but they don't look that good in person or in pictures. <laughs> so hopefully I can start buying better pots to place my beautiful plants in. But until then, they're going to stay in their nursery pots unless they need to get repotted. I need a little bit of cleaning. It's not going to hurt nobody. Pretty. It's not so messy. Ooh. Oh lord, okay. Ooh, I look like poop. <laughs> but are we surprised? No, no we're not. Okay, so this might literally just be a vlog type of style of video. I look so weird, oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I also take a picture for my begonia or pocket begonia for my Instagram and as you guys haven't followed me, make sure you go follow me. Let's go be plant friends. But yeah, and then I noticed 
Um, I'm pretty sure, like, I already told you guys multiple times, no, if you're new. Um, I bought a greenhouse and I thought it was going to be an amazing idea when it's hundreds of degrees outside on a daily basis um, to put some of my house plants inside of the greenhouse. And, and I was like, let me just put my pocket that big going in there because it's going to be hot and humid, which, yes, it was hot. Very, very hot. <laughs> And yeah, it was also humid. It was a little bit too hot in there to the point that it scorched my begonia. As you guys can see, there is a lot of like damage. Um, oh my god, it just looks so bad. So like this, yeah. I'm, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna document this part. Um, and also share, you know, this very sad experience with you guys. We're gonna cut off some leaves. And what I've been noticing is it's throwing out like a lot of new shoots. For example, like let me show you guys this specific part. I don't know if you guys can see. Do y'all see that? This part, like in the corner? Okay, so if I cut this leaf off, I feel like it's going to develop a new leaf. So I feel like it's gonna develop new branches, which is like super, super exciting. So I'm gonna cut some of the bad leaves. Honestly, I might just cut all of them, um, which is gonna like hurt the plant a little bit. It might shock it, I'm not that sure. And it might be a little bit harder to absorb light. So, as you guys have noticed, I ended up putting this girly in the grill lights. And you guys, like, there's like two new leaves coming at the same time. Like, do y'all see that? Oh my god. So, I think it's going to be really, really happy with those grill lights. When I had it in the apartment with those grill lights, which I've done so, I've talked about these grill lights so many times. I can't stop preaching about it because you guys, those lights are so, so good. I just noticed they dropped price to $30 right now. So I'm just letting y'all know it's a little bit cheap right now and the sun just came out. So honestly, I'm going to buy some. And it also said like if you apply for a coupon, it's like $5 less. I don't know if I'm going to get a from Amazon affiliate links because like they're very strict about this. But Amazon tends to like change the prices a lot. So always make sure to like look just on any products that you're planning on buying. Always make sure to like to check on them daily because they change prices. Alrighty, so let's start cutting some leaves. So I'm gonna cut off this little section. Ugh, it's so, so sad. Sorry about like the background audio. There's like a lot of things going around right now. Uh, I don't wanna, okay, we're gonna cut this one though. This one looks really bad. We're gonna cut this leaf as well. Should we like make it into a tree? I'm not that sure. I'm gonna cut that one off. This one looks pretty good. Ready? This one looks pretty, actually we're gonna cut this one as well. What am I gonna do? Alrighty, so that is it for this pocket dot begonia. Let me go show you guys the cuttings, not cuttings, but the leaves that I ended up cutting off. Ooh, hello. That's so sad. But it's for the better good. Did I even study correctly? I don't even know. There's so many like new shoots like coming on the it's called a node. I'm not that sure. But look, do y'all see that? Like, oh my god. It just looks so cool. Alrighty, I'll keep you guys updated, especially on those houseplant tours. I'll show you guys the progress of this beautiful plant.